Guess what? They got arrested. <laughs> Why? This is one of the biggest mistakes that both actually men and women make when they are dating when they're getting into a brand new relationship whether it is on the first date or second date or a month into the relationship they feel the need to do this and some people do it for different reasons we'll get into that but let me tell you all it's gonna do is potentially ruin the trajectory of this relationship so let's talk about this and by the way my name is Karina welcome back to my channel where I make videos about money woman and power so subscribe now let's watch this clip so you can theorize what not to do not even just on a first date but through the relationship Problems. Yeah, let's legal problems. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go ahead and find out the legal problems. Let's... Guess what? They got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. That's just tell him about my arrest. But he, when I get nervous, I sometimes talk too much and too quickly. Not one time, but three times. Three times? But I can explain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should I have done a background <laughs> check before I showed up? We didn't really get to dive. So what's the issue? Is the issue that she has a past? That she has troubles with the law? No, that's not a problem. Okay, as crazy as the situation is, that's not what I'm trying to say here. What the true mistake is here is telling your soon-to-be partner about your past relationships or past negative situations. Now, I know there's two sides to the story. There is one side which sounds logical. However, let me tell you, it's not doing you any favors. It's the side that says, I want to be open. I want to share my flaws. I want to share my misfortunes and troubles with my current or future mate. So I am obliged to tell them everything that has happened, right? In my past relationship, if I was cheated on, if they were very negative to me verbally, if they physically abused, right if they just i mean there's a lot of a lot of bad things that could happen in relationship right maybe it's financial instability it could really be anything and this this side of the kind of pie wants to share that because they have been so hurt by everything that has happened that they want to make sure it doesn't happen again so they believe that be, by informing their partner of all of these negative things that are in the past that they better not do this to me right you're kind of shaking your finger don't do this to me because i've been through it and i'm not gonna have it and that's usually how the conversation goes such as i can never be with a cheater so if you cheat on me we're we're, we're done we're over i can never be with someone who disrespects me if you disrespect me the relationship is over so don't even think about it right that's fine i understand that that's the kind of mindset because those people have been through pain right and then there's the other side which can just not volunteer to share that information for no apparent reason because if we look at side a let's call it right we're talking about all these negative things that happen and we think by saying them out loud we're preventing them from happening once again that's the first option or second we're taking on a mentality of being a victim none of those things are going to serve you the victim mentality is never good no matter what situation you are in because you are a strong powerful woman that can overcome anything and putting yourself by yourself as the victim will give others the opportunity to also treat you like one and that's not very empowering what you want to do is learn from whatever situations there are accept your strength and move forward there is no reason to relive those negative moments to dwell on them and especially to tell your partner of the poor relationship you've had and how you've been mistreated or even how you have mistreated yourself because what that does is that opens the door for them to mistreat you and most people think that by saying these things out loud they think they're putting up a wall and 
preventative measures that allows other people to never treat them like this again. But in reality, what that does is that it shines light on how you were treated in the past and how you were accepting of that, right? Say you were in a five-year relationship and someone cheated on you. Of course, it's not your fault. That is the... <laughs> situation of the other person that says more about the other person than you so there is no reason for you to um, obviously emotionally it has some trauma and sadness but carrying that on with your relationships in the future can actually have a repeat of the process that's why a lot of people get into relationships and it seems to be the same thing over and over and over because a lot of the times the things we fear come into us that's how it works. It's all a vibrational thing. If we're talking about it, if we're worrying about it, if we're expressing these things to people, then most likely than not, we're going to attract these things. So we must focus on other attributes of how we want to be treated and positive things of a relationship. And if you do have to disclose information about the past, just say we parted ways. There's no need to further victimize yourself, especially if you are coming from a relationship that hasn't been that great. You want to set an example for your future partners of how you need to be treated it doesn't matter what happened in the past what matters is how you deserve to be treated which is nothing but the best so you set those boundaries and you don't let people know that you have been mistreated now you might be looking at me and saying no Karina my partner is perfect he will never do these things to me he's a godsend while that might be the case with few few men or a lot of men i'm not really sure relationships are all different you still don't want to take that chance and if you really think about it there really is no reason to disclose that type of information what actually could happen i'm not saying this is in all situations but it's a possibility those past traumas that you've now shared can actually leave the door open for them to treat you to see how far can they take it right if you say you were with your ex-partner for a long amount of time and they severely mistreated you but you still stayed in the relationship for one year two year five years won't that give them the logical thought to okay then how far can i take this right say there's a big argument well she stayed with her ex if he mistreated her so she should stay with me or say there's another another argument and it's not really that dramatic say you have a right for the argument that perhaps you have been mistreated in your new relationship and you're trying to stand your ground and defend yourself right well then your partner might look at your past I'm not saying this will happen for everybody, but I'm just opening the possibilities because anything is possible in the world, right? We have to outweigh our cons and pros. So he looks at your past relationships and says, okay, well, she stayed with her partner and he did way worse things to her than I'm doing. So why is she being dramatic over this little hiccup in her relationship? Then clearly I have more leverage to push my limits and to push the boundaries. And is that really something you want to open in your relationship? Of course not. Like I said, I'm not saying this is going to happen and I'm not trying to paint a partner as that type of person, but I'm saying what are the pros and cons of your past and what is the point of bringing it in to um, the future? There really is none. So really consider what you discuss on the first date, on the second date, on your first month of a relationship and really long term is it going to add to your relationship or is it just going to open up old wounds and fears that can potentially attract more negative things such as that if you want more information from me i did write an ebook guide to how to take your confidence back and sparkle with charisma to attract when you walk in and light up a room in the bio there's a link down in the description box Subscribe to the video, like it, and I will see you in the next one.